Hello everyone, I'm veteran Dungeon Master Brian Brown. This past weekend, the Masterfuls met here in our studio for their third time as a role-playing group. And in this session, we filmed the prologue to our upcoming adventure series taking place in friendly local game stores in the months ahead. We're excited to share the prologue with you in two parts. What you are about to see wasn't scripted, and I didn't share any of the adventure material with the players beforehand. This was our first time on camera as a group, and although we were a little nervous, we had a lot of fun. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did. So without further ado, here's part one of Prologue to Journey of the Bronze Wing. Hello everyone, I'm Brian Brown. I'll be running our game today. Welcome to our first recorded session of Masterfuls. I want to introduce our cast to you. To my right is Heidi, who's going to be playing Temerity, a tiefling monk. And we also have next to her Sly, who's playing Gavin, a gold dragonborn fighter. Dude. <laughs> Across on the other side of the table, we have Jay, who's playing Blay Nine, a human artificer. So artificing. And next to him, we have Murr, who's playing Jackie, a rock gnome wild sorcerer. I've never been outside before. <laughs> And next to her, we have Zero playing Man uh, Sam, San, uh, who is a gold dwarf cleric. Afraid of being alone and of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at our last session, if you remember, uh, we San was uh, home alone uh, when there was an unexpected knock on the door. And this uh, turned out to be uh, some un welcome information about a debt that is owed, some 400 gold pieces uh, for the record. And before that could really be dealt with, there was another uh, thing that came up, which was an unexpected chill. Uh, when the rest of the party got together, we learned that there was a ghost that still in, uh, lived inside the house, Emily, uh, who is the uh, former um, spouse of the toy maker uh, who left you this, um, uh, well, what is now going to be uh, your guild house, but was once a, a doll and toy shop here in the trade ward. So Emily uh, and you didn't get off on the right foot to begin with. We had an unfortunate um interaction with her journal in which uh, Gavin's character, uh, Sly's character Gavin, I think, I gave it a bit of a rip, uh, but we were able to work things out and establish that uh, that she was going to stay and, uh, and take care of the house, and in exchange that her uh, place in the house, her room, would be undisturbed. A few days have passed, and I think the group of you have been spending that time figuring out how you're going to deal with this debt. Uh, and the decision has been to use this house that you have here in the trade ward, where many of the other guilds of the city uh, operate, to open up your own guild, uh, an adventuring company for hire that you hope will enable you to make this, uh, these necessary funds. Anything that I missed that happened last time, gang? That sound about right? No, we just need to raise 4,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's 400 <laughs> gold dragons for the last time, Gavin. <laughs> I don't think that'll be the last time. <laughs> 400, 4,000 stolen. A lot of yeah. money. It's more than I've ever seen. I think any of us is the same. Yeah. Well, I've seen it before, but it's uh, still a lot. <laughs> So the former mock top residence is in front of us here on the table. And each of your characters, I think, is somewhere in the residence. Um, I think I see uh, Blainine in the top bunk. Is that right? I am indeed. Yeah. What are you up to over there? I was taking this quick nap. I've been pondering stuff. Some different inventions, ideas, things that may prove useful to society as a whole. 
I have a whole contraption that rotates a small chain that has some kind of teeth on it that goes through lumber. That's a meta there, thanks. <laughs> Interesting. And what about the rest of the Master Fools? Where are you at in the house? You're welcome to grab a, your mini and place it somewhere. We'll place it for you if somebody wants to describe where you're at. I probably just walked in. If it's like the morning. Put Sam right in the, the front, front door. Room. The doors are open yeah. already for you. <laughs> All right, it's early morning. Uh, yeah. Um, do you put me in the, um, the attic? The higher ceiling, um, flexing stretches. Yeah. Practicing my form in a place where I'm a little less likely to uh, hit oh, my head that. when I leap. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. I'll, I'll take over one of the attic rooms too as a as a training area. Cool. And we've already come up with like the guild idea, and we've presumably started advertising. Or I think that you've come up with the name, uh, and there's been. Maybe has someone sent something to the to the to the printer? I have. Okay, so we have something at the printer then. I have several flyers ready to go. They need to be handed out or posted on different walls. Well, I'm out around the city anyways throughout the day. I can take a few with me. Fantastic. There's a small stack. Like what doing you? that? I am in the kitchen and I just created this really new uh, cool. Food for everybody, where I took everything out of the back of the freezer and I just put it all in one pot and cooked it for about six hours. I think it's gonna be really good. <laughs> I think it sounds delicious, and I think uh, Gavin probably wants to try some. Oh, definitely. <laughs> What's Gavin up to? Uh, he is training in the attic in the room next to Tamari. All right, swinging a sword. Probably there's some gashes in the walls now. Duck out of the way every now and then, but it comes a little close. <laughs> so, uh, as we mentioned, it's early, and I think San has just come back. Where's San just come back from again? The yeah, San's been a little bit feeling kind of out of place at the house, so they keep going back to the Font of Knowledge there, and where they have a bedroll with the other pilgrims, uh, Cleric of Denair, and kind of just hang out there. I sneak out at, after dinner sometimes, and then I come back in the morning before, every, but right when everybody's getting up. So that's what Sam's been doing. As you are closing the door behind you, coming into the house, uh, you notice uh, that there is a, uh, a member of the city watch. They're very, very recognizable when you see one of them. Okay. Um, and they are uh, approaching the house uh, and they have uh, a scroll and a hammer in their hand. Well, presumably, uh, Sam has talked to everybody since the last time they had to answer the door and coming in, hey, somebody needs to get the door. Somebody's coming over here. So why well, I don't want to answer the door. I'm the only one right here in this room. Anybody around? I'd like to think I would hear this. <laughs> I'm just snoozing. I wasn't okay. Like okay, you've got this. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Inside. You're just daydreaming. <laughs> yeah. Mechanism. Clang, clang. Sure, fine. <laughs> the as you come up to the door, and anybody else? Did anybody else respond to the, this and come to the door as well? Three I floors up. Jackie. She's like excited to see. I speak pretty loud. That's true. Yeah, you guys are up in the attic. Right. Um, Do a perception check. I have a minus one perception. <laughs> I mean, I could give it a try. I have a 13. Okay. Uh, it is 20. Right, so maybe from the window, you notice someone approaching the house. Um, a, a member of, clearly recognizable member of the city uh, guard. And... Um, as they come up to the house, uh, are you in the doorway, Play yes. Nine? Yeah, yeah. Good morning, Constable. What brings you to our door? He looks at uh, you and, um, without any sort of uh, uh, recognition, very blank faced, uh, hands you uh, this scroll uh, that is in his hand. And he says, name? 
Are you asking for mine or your name? Because I yes, do not sir. know your name. I'm asking for your name, sir. Blaine. Thank I'm you. I'm Jackie. Looks down. Okay. Because you're short. Do either of you know where the Lord of the House is? I speak for the Lord of this abode. Well, you make sure that he gets that then. It shall be done, or else die trying. And at this point, he turns and walks away. <laughs> that was strange. I figured out what's the scroll say? Really? Why? <laughs> Assume conversation was to be had. Yeah. So, what does this scroll say? The scroll um, has a seal on it from that makes it look very efficient from the city. You have to break that open in order to, to read it. Um, and when you do, uh, you see. I've yeah. been trying to, to reach you. <laughs> <on the video. laughs> it's, it's terrible. <laughs> you see that it is uh, a letter addressed uh, to um, uh, Thomas Moktov, Lord of the House, or so the city, or so the city mm -hmm. seems to still believe. And that it is a final notice of default and imminent foreclosure. How imminent is imminent? One ten day. Does that mean they're going to keep this out? Perhaps. Perhaps it does. It is certainly depressing. Who do you think that was at the door? There was someone at the door? Uh, yes, I saw someone walking up. I wonder if that's what Sam was yelling about. Maybe we should head downstairs? I'll go ahead and go back to the, to the main table here with said scroll. <clears throat> kind of go down that ladder, down to the next floor, and go. Have hey, you um, already breakfast? Start calling. Team meeting! Oh, we have those now. <laughs> well, I am brewing my stew, but that's more of an evening meal. Oh, it's for the evening. It's, it's got a simmer. <laughs> Is this about our visitor? Yes. <laughs> Apparently, we have been delivered news of ill. Someone is ill, or? No. Just put the note down. We have 10 days to make 400 gold, or they're kicking us out. Uh, wait. Okay. This house is still in Thomas's name? I thought it was ours. He gave us the deed. Did we ever... Was there something we were supposed to do with that? I mean, I didn't have a deed for my hermitage, so I kind of just lived in the mountains. Yeah, so I'm not really familiar. You never kind of been on the road for a while? I imagine it involves talking to people, though, so I'll uh, hang out here. I shall weather the bureaucracy of this city. Yay. I'm heading out for work for the day anyways, I'll join you. I'm going to tell you Let my troops know I'll be a little bit. <laughs> 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 well, uh, when you look at the deed that um, Thomas uh, uh, gave to you, you see that it has been signed over, uh, and but it's signed over with each of your names as the signatories. So if the deed has been signed over to the five of you. So we all have to go. It would appear, if you yeah, are, are familiar with uh, the, yeah, the way, yes. Are there <laughs> more these in this world? Um, yeah, but they are very rarely used, and it's more of a seal, an officiating seal, than a notary. Okay, so, so the deed makes it look like we all have to go, unfortunately. Or I get power of attorney. I'm not going to give you power of attack. Can I do an insight check on the <laughs> uh, 14 plus 3 plus 5 plus... I got a 19. I'm not sure that power of attorney is a, <laughs> is a thing. <laughs> um, 
I would have to do a little digging on that. Uh, but I don't think his intentions are necessarily bad, though I'm not sure his plan is sound. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to speak to anyone. Maybe, um, we can we can take care of any of that if you're not comfortable. Yeah, I'll just uh, sit and uh, stand in the back. Uh, but well, let's let's get take care of this. Let's go where we need to go. Let's get it moving. Make some signs. This one for yes. This one for no. Maybe we can put the signs up for the guild on the way. That's true. Yeah, I think that you have to pick them up still. For, but I think it's on the way because it's in the trade war here. So where you guys are at in the trade war is a bustling area of all times of day. It's where many of the guilds of Waterdeep are already set up. And your particular location where the the doll house, uh, the doll the house of dolls and toys uh, was, is here in Virgin Square, right here on the edge. Um, and are any of you familiar with where you need to go? Uh, I've spent some time in the city, but I maybe know. Maybe. Yeah. I am in a guild. Okay. Do you want to uh, make an insight check on this? Insight. Nice. I'm going to give you the guidance, so you have a D4. Okay. Um, 22. Okay. Um, just got that guidance on tap. Yeah. I like to help a lot. I just want to make myself useful to you guys. No, that did help. I, I was here, then I left, then I came back, so, uh. Um, you know that most of, like, the government-type stuff is handled in... Um, uh, the uh, excuse me, the castle board. So that's probably where uh, it's going to be. But you know also that there's a palace and also a castle, and you're not really in tune with the bureaucracy stuff that much. So that's pretty much where your knowledge of that ends. Well, we'll be in the right area. We can always ask around. Did they tell us on the letter where we go? Take another look at the letter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a closer inspection of that. Um, shows that the letter was sent uh, by the coin master's department uh, in the city palace. Sweet sis. I have always wanted to go there. <laughs> Is that where Jackie would have been? Uh, no, she would have been at the palace, yes, but not at that particular area of the palace. There's a lot of government buildings in that in that square. It it's would a bigger have been plaza. That building, but it, no, it would have been that square of buildings. Oh, it's like a campus situation. Yeah. Yep. We're going to do something. Let's go to the palace. You guys first. Of course, no problem. How's that? We have a map. Yes. So we're going to the palace. And because you of your excellent role, you know where that is. You've been patty there, you've done some entertaining in the in the in the square there. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to put that on the map for you with that insight check earlier. I would probably know where it is too. You would probably as <laughs> well. Yes. Former uh, exterior guard person? Yeah. And so we're going to be headed right over here. Cool. Is that a furniture disc? It's just a 3M sticky. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's this big fancy building with a bunch of walls around it, um, kind of on the east side of the city. All right, let's go. Gear up and go. First, quick stop at the burner. Right, and um, uh, if I can swing by my, my troop and make sure they know I'm with them out, out with them today. Taking a personal day. Yes. <laughs> Short notice, but I'm used to that. Um, arriving at the printer, we have gloom. Uh, I would think no, but there's probably like a shop very nearby that does. Um, also, it's a bit of a walk from where you are to uh, uh, where you're going. Um, do you want to hire transportation, or do you want to take the walk? I think we can't afford transportation. So I think we should definitely walk. hire transportation. It is a beautiful day, and um, I don't think we have a breakfast yet, so we can swing by a cart or something. Oh, I was going to ride on Gavin. <laughs> and Jackie can ride on Gavin. Okay, it looks like we're walking. Um, with a quick stop by the printer. 
glue and shop. to get some glue. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the glue uh, uh, is no problem. That probably costs you, I don't know, uh, two copper pieces for a big jar of glue. And a brush. And another copper piece for a brush. Mm -hmm. And the flyers that you had uh, made a uh, custom uh, printing job uh, at the cost of a gold piece to have all of these done. A uh, big stack of them. They are ready for your pickup play night. Let's just do the negatives. We're already 400 in debt. Okay. Uh, so you guys take the long walk from the trade ward over to the castle ward, uh, and then from there over to where uh, the palace is located. Most of the bureaucracy and government uh, buildings are, uh, are, are uh, situated. When you get there, um, make a perception check yeah. as a group. Would now be a good time to tell you that I never got my character sheet. It would be a great time. <laughs> I think it's probably at the end of the table. Under, oh, is it under yours? <laughs> under, yeah, yeah, it's definitely not my handwriting. Okay. Bye. Hey! <laughs> I got a Perception roll fail. 12. Uh, um, 17. I rolled nat a die. Nat 20. Nice. <laughs> First nat 20. I rolled a die. I rolled a die. It was fun. It was a good time. Don't want to be so good technically good. it's a 19. And how did you do? How did Sam do? I got 7. Oh, 7. You were the 7. It was a 12. I rolled a 13. So. Um, <laughs> I rolled a four. We're so wise. Did you make it a one perception? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Her wisdom is eight. There are in the palace square a number of street signs and quite a few government building signs, and it's all a little bit um, uh, uh, confusing, um, especially for someone uh, who's not really familiar with anything like this before, but. Jackie, nonetheless, uh, somehow manages uh, to spot a sign uh, that lists it as the coin master's department. And uh, when you look in the direction of the arrow, you guys can see that there is this little um, uh, house attached to the lar a larger complex. And there are all of these um, uh, 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 little like stalled counters in it. So basically, um, while everyone's just like mm -hmm. asking people and going to different desks, mm -hmm. she's just in the middle and goes, is that what you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And everyone's like, oh, yes. Oh, it's a little disappointing. It's not really what I expected. Hmm. Uh, and as you approach, you can see that there is a, a fairly um, a good sized line um, for the two um, stalls that are open. It's about us standing in line. Not much else for it. I'm good at standing in line. Who's at the front of the line? Like the club clerk? Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's uh, two clerks there uh, behind it, behind counters that are, have a big stack of paperwork in front of them. Um, and they're handling uh, the people. Are you asking who's first in line or just... I want to tap... Who's right in front of me? I want to tap them. Uh-huh. And I want to... Do a persuasion check and see if they'll let us cut in line. Yeah, just, what do you want? Just the person right in front of us. What do you want to tell them? Um, excuse me, I I've never been outside before. My name's Jackie, and um, these are my friends, and I would really uh, appreciate it if we just uh, we don't have a lot of time right now. Um, would you mind if we just come through? Make a persuasion. Mm -hmm. Twelve. 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 Four plus your proficiency bonus plus fours or ten. Ten? Nice. Good enough. Uh, apparently, they didn't have a lot going on today, so they uh, <laughs> that they let you uh, your group cut ahead of them. I would online. like to tap the next person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ask them if I can cut in front of them. I'm really Make another persuasion <laughs> check. Okay. At this point, I've caught on, and I tap you, give you guidance. We're going to be four off. <laughs> Anything to get us out of here faster. Okay. 
uh, to this one, I'd say, um, excuse me, my child is sick. <laughs> <laughs> that one! Oh. Wait, plus two, can plus I, Can I give her advantage four. by just being behind her, like, intimidatingly? <laughs> <laughs> Make an intimidation check, and if you're successful with that, we'll give her advantage and let her roll a second time. Uh, that would be a... Fourteen. Uh, yeah, you have advantage on. So <laughs> take a second. Take a second <laughs> crack at that. You still add that two that you got with the d four. Okay, seven plus. But you had already rolled it, so it was a two, I think. It was a four. Oh, it was a four. So eleven. <laughs> All right. I was gonna roll it again, but I want to do okay. Eleven plus uh, two, thirteen. <laughs> yeah, who died? My child is sick. <laughs> Your child is sick. No, she said the die is the next one. <laughs> uh, yeah, they let you. They let you guys uh, uh, up. How many more? So you're gonna continue this. I okay. Uh, so give me one more of these. This one's okay. important because this is gonna see. Um, yeah. This is gonna see if you, if this this is for all the marbles on your. Okay. Huh? I'll do the same uh, intimidation. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, that didn't work. No, it's an eight. Okay, no. Okay, wait. Uh, for this one, she says, um, "Excuse me, we're the secret police. <laughs> um, we need we need to get in front of you." I rolled a nineteen plus. Wait, do I get the gun? Is that a yeah, cantrip? Yeah, that's a cantrip. Yeah. Nineteen plus two, twenty-one plus three, so that's a twenty. Okay. Four. <laughs> so, you're all standing in line behind Jackie. <laughs> and Jackie proceeds to give everyone in the line a different story about why you all need to be in front. And one by one, uh, you uh, manage to work your way uh, up the line. Well done. <laughs> She may not be very smart, but she's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when you get in front of the last person, uh, Jackie, you see that uh, uh, you're being uh, beckoned forward to the counter um, by uh, a, a, a dwarf uh, uh, who um, has um, uh, long braids and she is uh, wearing spectacles and she's a little older. And um, she um, greets you uh, with a grin uh, and says, Oh, how can I help you, little miss? Yes, um, what are we doing? We have a series of paperwork we need to file. We it have a series of paperwork we, we need to file. It is imperative that we get this done. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I can help you with that. Let me take a look. And she puts her spectacles up a little uh, closer to her eyes. You guys pass her the, <laughs> takes it off of you. Are you giving them the deed and the taxes or just? Yeah, what are you handing over? Yeah. <laughs> Both? Okay. Um, uh, first, uh, she looks at the, uh, at the uh, uh, deed and um, turns it over. Oh. Well, this is very strange. Now well, it does all seem to be in order. Hmm. And this would be all of you, I presume? Yeah, that's, that's my name there. Yes. yes. Precisely, that. Very good. We can get this filed, no problem. And then she picks up the other document, the letter that you received this morning. Oh, and she, her face sinks a little bit. Well, I'm afraid it doesn't look like the first document you handed me is going to matter much. Do we really owe this? I mean, we didn't ignore the back taxes. Tomas did. Well, that may be, but... You can't take ownership of a property that the city has claim on. So, we can't own it until... Are you not here to pay? Well, not right 
Not right now. We don't no. have the, the 40000 to pay right now. Tom was to inform 400. us 400. that the house was under debt before he left town. Hmm. Unfortunately. Well, you do have a 10-day. It says right here. Yes. Is there any way we can get that extended? I mean, we didn't even know about this until, well, we got the letter. An extension? Mm-hmm. Did you want persuasion? Ask about a discount. Make persuasion, persuasion check? Here we go. Just, just do about it? Just about 16. Uh, well, uh, I don't... That's sort of beyond my uh, my authority. I, I could lose my job. Well, uh, who do we need to speak to, then? Oh, I, I don't think that anyone else would help you with this. Um, but uh, maybe we could change the date for a small fee. We just told you we didn't have the money for this. Mm-hmm. How much of a small fee is a small fee? Oh, <clears throat> well, uh, I... I think she's asking for a bribe. <laughs> oh, no, nothing like that. Uh, no, that would be most unordinary. A bribe? Sorry, bribing? I tried to whisper. Who are we bribing? <laughs> no. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, <laughs> your friends. Oh, well, you know, it is unusual to ask for an extra fee at the counter, isn't it? Well, I suppose you're on your way then. Good luck. And she hands it back to you. So we come here to pay. Who, uh, who would we go to? To Oh, I'll take your payment. I'm not sure I want to give my payment to you. I'm not sure if we can trust you. Well, you are speaking to uh, the clerk, uh, to the commissioner of coin. The commissioner or a commissioner? There are I represent here. the coin master's department. And can we speak to the coin master? Oh, I could make you an appointment. She pulls out a very long uh, schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, he could see you... Uh, Two ten days from now. Mm, of course. Looks like we're going to have to go somewhere else now. Yes? Unless she knows where we can get, where we can find a job. Well, we have all those flyers now. Well, can we do? Here, if, if I may. Please. Of course. Dear, my dear fair man. By the way, your eyes look lovely today. Oh, I have a few questions. One, we need a series of permits for our new guild, advertising permit. We're going to need insurance, bondage for the entire guild. We're also going to need uh, various other forms that we're going to require to get all these things up to implement different bonds for subcontractors, therefore. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to worry about the upcoming plague. Sorry about that. A little bit on your glasses there. But I'm sure it won't take any time, right? We're right here. We're here now, right? Aren't we? Uh, and I want to slide forward five gold pieces. Make a persuasion check with advantage. There are numbers on those. Well, I guess maybe a deception check. Either way. <laughs> uh, Twelve. Twelve. Uh... Well, I think that, and she takes the coin off the table and slides it down into her lap. Well, I think here that everything it appears to be in order. She hands you back the paperwork, uh, and it says uh, that the payment is due um, three ten days from now. Wow. So it appears that you have a, a whole nother month to resolve this matter. I don't know why we're even worried. I knew coming to you would be the correct path. Yes, well, it's always good to check. Okay, bye, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should probably go. 
<laughs> Your assistance is most appreciated. Our doom is farther away now. Good morrow. <laughs> so, uh, you leave the uh, palace and the, uh, the coin master's department and are uh, presumably uh, headed back. And uh, you, of course, have this big stack of flyers. Um, We're just starting these up. We don't have many other options. I think we have a great advantage on these. We have height over everyone else for our advertisements. Here's a brush <laughs> and a can of glue. Just put the glue on the wall, slap the poster, and make sure it's the correct direction. Though. We're putting them low as a red edge? On the wall. She's on the back. Oh, that's a Oh, she's on the back. Can I do like a investigate check where it would be the best place to hang these? Or I don't know. That could be the. Probably. Uh, and, yeah. Point out a few gathering places I know of. Probably be just more an intelligence check. or... I can do that. Can I, I, I do try it? to assist by like. Do I get help? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely think we should find shows, good taverns. Other. Um, I got a 15 to other assist. Other groups. Posters. I got Matt 20. Woo! Right on top. So. Uh, oh, and I have a plus three to intelligence. So 23. Yeah. So you have a pretty good feel of where like some heavily trafficked areas would be that would be good. Um, but also uh, just from your like coming back and forth, leaving the, the, uh, the uh, guild house uh, in the, uh, you have seen a lot of um, like groups that are um, hiring or different people that are hiring fighters and things like that right there. Um, near where your guild house is uh, in the in the trade board, so oh, cool. even right around your guys' places uh, would be. So I direct everybody to the, the flyers where we should put them and everything. I still put a couple right above some other groups, <laughs> right on top. And you just said that there was places that are taking jobs already, um, like they're so giving jobs. One of the one of the uh, things that happens frequently within the trade board. And actually, right here in Virgin Square, is that oftentimes fighters and mercenaries for hire gather there uh, and take jobs. So that actually ends up being a great oh, cool. place for your guild hall to be. So they're like on the street calling out, like, yeah, jobs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not good at calling out things, but I think maybe you guys could possibly handle some of this. When. So, is there someone who. Looks like they're they're geared up to be an adventurer, but everything about them says I am not an adventurer. Those are the kind of people you're looking for. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for one. Yeah, I'm looking for one. Just yeah. one. Just, Just one. a good one. <laughs> Just someone who who maybe romanticizes the life a little too much. Still wants to be a part of it, but doesn't exactly want to face danger. Okay. Um. Basically, I'm looking for Janine. <laughs> to our Ghostbusters. Uh, make uh, an investigation check for me. Can do. <laughs> Not one? Cannot. I'm going to intimidate. And, no. <laughs> <laughs> intimidate the answers into a being friendly. As Blaine I hands out the posters, this is when you first see uh, his spelling of masterfuls that he chose. Um, uh, and <laughs> okay, I know that's what's wrong. <laughs> And, um, ah, it's supposed to be ironic, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm, 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 I'm all right with it. <laughs> but nonetheless, he has already spent a gold on it. Um, and you have this big stack of flyers. So uh, it's time to promote uh, your uh, adventuring company. And as you're all, you're plastering over some other signs and um, San has kind of directed like, all right, I think we should go here. I think we should do some in the harbor. I think we should uh, make rounds around the city uh, um, to these different locations. And Jackie's on Gavin's shoulders, posting some up high for everyone to see. Um, while you're all doing this, uh, you, um, oh, who's, Gavin and Jackie, since they're occupying the same space, uh, you're both putting up a poster. Gavin's uh, 
posting over a previous posting from a different guild. And uh, Jackie is posting a flyer directly above it <laughs> on, on his shoulders. Um, you hear uh, a voice uh, uh, from behind say, Hey, what's that? Uh, you uh, looking for some work? Yeah. You turn around, uh, and there's a, a short, um, uh, bald human with uh, orange braid, braided hair, uh, and he is, bald is he, a he has a beard on his face, <laughs> a braided beard. Oh, sorry, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, underneath his uh, um, arm, he is holding a chicken. What kind of puppy is that? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Her name is Lizzie. She's kind of ugly. Have you oh, and he, like, cups her ears that she doesn't have. I'm sorry. She can't hear that. Don't talk about Lizzie like that. Sorry, Lizzie. You, uh, you guys, uh, available for hire? Yes. yes. I have a bit of a problem. Maybe you could help me and Lizzie with? Possibly. Okay, you follow me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He begins walking down the street, uh, and he's holding Lizzie. Do the rest of us see them Real getting close. led away? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on? We We're have following work. Lizzie. <laughs> We're going this way. <laughs> you see Good that they're following Lizzie. this uh, short, uh, bald man uh, with a chicken under his arm. Uh, the man with the ugly puppy. We're following him. What's the, why work? What's the job? Finding out. Uh, Does this person seem like they're leading us somewhere to let us? Well, the, he leads them just around the corner of this building into an alleyway. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and they go out of sight. Well, we're following them. I'm you guys gonna follow them? Okay. I suppose we are. I'll yeah. Keep watch from the back and well. No. Do you want to keep watching the back? With You're not going to turn into a friends? puppet, are you? <laughs> Bad experience. You guys ask a lot of strange questions. We've had some strange experiences. Uh, here's the problem, mate. You look uh, in the alleyway there, and there is all of these um, chicken coops all along the alley. But... Um, there's no chickens. This is what I was afraid you were going to with the with the chicken. Um, and uh, he says, "See here, all my chickens gone. Did they escape, or were they stolen?" What did you well, do? I thought maybe they were stolen, but look here, mate. Locks are undamaged. I feel like an alley is maybe not a, a good place to keep all your chicken puppies. Like maybe outside, like a. He uh he farm. points he points up and there's a a door there in the alleyway and it's the side entrance uh, to the cluck stop, uh, where they advertise that you can get a whole chicken for five copper pieces. In just five minutes, so, <laughs> like as a pet or as a food. Okay. Ooh, just because the locks aren't damaged doesn't mean it wasn't a skilled lock picker. There's plenty of those in the city. Um, Do you have anyone who... Have you been... Have you had thefts before, Lizzie? <laughs> and, uh... Wait, I'm sorry. The man... You were uh, Lizzie? Well, wait. The man looks at Lizzie <laughs> and, uh... Says, first time. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so is this, is this... Is this Lizzie or is this Lizzie? Oh, this is Lizzie. Wait, who are you then? Oh, I'm Tucker. Good to meet you, Tucker. My friends call me Clucker. Because of the cluck stop and all. Yes. Is that how you came up with the name? (laughs) No, it's Lizzie's idea. (laughs) So, okay. Tucker Clucker. Uh, (laughs) But here's the deal. There's chickens were there when I left yesterday. Mm-hmm. 
This morning, no chickens. Mother well, it looks... No breaks on the locks, and you can clearly see no damage. Unless the chickens picked the locks, so imagine the someone locks, let them out. Are the locks locked? Do you want to go and take a closer look? Yes, I do. Can't be. I won't make it. Does anybody want to assist his investigation? Would Absolutely. Just open or close? Oh. The cages are closed. I got a five on my assistant. Uh, I got a eight on my assistants. So just as usual, then, with their investigation. All right, so that's a 12. Um, the locks do not appear to have been tampered with when you look at them. But are they locked? And they do appear to be locked. So they look like... So it doesn't look like they have been opened, uh, you know, by anyone since if, if the chickens were inside. Mm-hmm. Um, but also with that, uh, you notice that, you know, there's quite a bit of like chicken droppings, chicken shit all over the ground, you know, behind in, in the alleyway. Mm-hmm. But you do with that investigation check notice that there are some chicken bones on the ground there among the droppings under these uh, cages. Well, that's not good. And he says, if you can get to the bottom of it, I'll pay you each a gold piece. You didn't happen to find, how many chicken cages are there? There are eight chicken coops, and uh, Tucker tells you that when he left yesterday, there were 27 chickens. Now, just Lizzie. Was Lizzie here, or did you have Lizzie with you? I keep Lizzie inside. Better she not see what happened out here, man, you know? Well, sh- she would be seeing it. Well, maybe you should turn her head, because there's these here. And I show them the bones. Ah. Oh. oh, my. So we found them. Uh, that'll be a gold. <laughs> Each. That's... How do you dispose that? He scratches his head, looks at Lizzie. <laughs> There doesn't happen to be, I, I'm not smart enough to do the math, extra gold, extra, what is it, five copper for a chicken? It's right on the sign. Yeah, okay. There doesn't happen to be extra copper in your thing. Did somebody pay that? No. Okay. Oh, my gosh. And how would they have gotten out? <laughs> well, if they just ate them where they are, how, how big are the holes in these cages? Pretty small. Uh, it's like chicken, like chicken wire, you know. Um, do, do, did you want to make an investigation check? Yeah, to kind of get an idea of what size of animal can maybe fit in. Mm-hmm. I believe in you, Lady Temerity. Give you a guidance. <laughs> Pat you on the this back. This is not my strength. I'm more of an observer than an investigator, but um, four. Yeah, nothing. Nothing that. Uh, Gavin didn't Maybe a see. bunch of really little, like some kind of plague considering crops. They eat chickens. Land piranhas. A tiny land piranhas. Somebody, exists, yeah. somebody who is not a nine in, 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 in intelligence or wisdom needs to do an investigation check and look for. I rolled an investigate to help you, and I got like a seven. So mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Anybody else? You guys want to take a look? I will investigate. Sure. I don't believe you've watched you. all these guys come up with nothing. Stand back. There we go. Twenty-one. Nice. There we go. Oh yeah, you're an artificer. You have the intelligence. Lay nine. I guess I should have believed in them. <laughs> Lay nine believes. In you notice that these bones are like completely picked clean. There's no nothing left on them. In addition, you will also see that there are some smaller pieces of bone fragment, some of them having been crushed underfoot this morning and since then, that lead across the alley. And right next to uh, um, the uh, wall there, there is a drainage um, um, uh, pipe mm-hmm. with a grate over it. The underground? Yeah. You gotta go into the sewer. 
Oh. How big is the great? To, I just got the stress. Welcome to adventuring. Uh-huh. Before we go, wherever we go, can I investigate from the inside of the cage? Yeah. <laughs> crawl into the chicken cage. crawl into the chicken cage? Yeah. Inside of mm-hmm. the food? Yeah. Right, Become the chicken. Um, this is the mind of living. <laughs> 21. You notice that uh, from the inside, as you're looking at, at the coop, that the inside wiring on the, on the bottom of it, of the cage, that would have been the floors of the cage, is very, very clean. Like it's not, almost like it's brand new wire, shit. not covered in chicken shit. Okay. Your chicken puppies shit? From time to time. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Why? Oh, they didn't shit here. So how often do you clean these cages? Well, I, I try to get to them, you know. We're not from the health department. Once every two months. Oh. Well, it's a beautiful city. Um, <coughs> just do the chickens. Okay. I want to lower your prices to two cups. The chickens don't spend that much time here, you know. They just they come in the evening. They're usually gone by noon. They just wander around. To the no. Street. He yes. points at the sign again. Uh, Jackie, do they eat? Me, where you came from? Mostly just grub. I guess that's a kind of meat. Yes, so it's similar to that. They use chickens for the same purpose here. I had turkey legs. That's right, right, you did. All right, so you do understand what's happening to the chickens. She still has them. I've had some things. I've had chicken. So you do know what they're. I thought Lizzie was a pet. I thought this was a pet store. Wow. Lizzie's carrying it around like it's a. Lizzie's special, baby. Oh, Lizzie special. Okay. I do an All insight right. check on this guy's relationship with Lizzie. So how big you can. That? I'm not sure I want to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Um, he clearly, uh, uh, him and Lizzie are very close. Okay. okay. Yeah. But it, Lizzie is a pet. Lizzie, isn't Lizzie like, is a pet. It's a new Lizzie every day. I eat a new no, one. No, no. Okay. Lizzie is a pet. Lizzie doesn't usually, um, she, Lizzie gets kept away from the other chickens. Okay. So, if if Clucker didn't clean the cage, then whatever... Clucker, Clucker. Do you think whatever I'm glad chickens, you know we're friends. My friends call me that. Oh, I like to be friends with everyone, so... Um, if Clucker didn't clean this, whatever ate the chickens doesn't really care what it eats, it just ate everything? No, I think it cares. Otherwise it wouldn't repair the cages. I don't think it was an it, I think it was a they. And they took the ki- chickens and then replaced the cages? Yep. Can I do like a, seems like a lot of money. Just nature arcana if I would know about oozes? Uh, you can, yeah. Make a, make a nature check. Plus it's competitive. That's another dot 20. Yes, which nature I get a plus 7 to. So that is a 27. Um, Hermit. Knowledge clear. It's hard to deny that. <laughs> Go to anyway. It sounds pretty well true. Okay. Who's going into the sewer, maybe? Hard to deny that role. Uh, yeah, your gut, uh, Sam, is uh, that some sort of ooze is involved. Especially because... It was clean uh, and there was no... And the grate appears to be undamaged, the sewer grate. Is it also clean? Uh, yes. Oh, disgusting. Oh. Don't they have people for this? Wonderful. It's a huge city. Well, the sewers so will be clean run. if we just follow the trail of the... Sam, what is it? It is true. It's like a pudding. Like, you know that soup you're making right now? Yeah. Imagine that that came out of the pot and just kind of flowed around and ate everything in its path. Mm, that's just we can use it as a garbage disposal, though, if we catch it. Ooh. So I'm assuming we eat everything that includes us. It's an intriguing idea. It did eat 26 chickens, apparently. We've already got a refrigerator. <laughs> the ghost. Might as well make a garbage disposal. And it probably won't eat the ghost. Yeah. And if we control it just right, we might be able to make a small spot for exfoliating. 
I mean, we already owe 400 gold. If it starts eating our stuff, we're going to owe a lot more. You're going to owe me a lot more if it eats all my dresses. Fair. But this great seems to have weathered fairly well against it. So do we need to find it? Or can we say, hey, Clucker, it was an ooze. I suppose the business Your chickens last. are lost. Best bet, put a couple more chickens, wait for it to come back. And if we defeat it, it's not. It if we defeat here. it, it's not like we're going to be able to bring it back as evidence. It's news. Busy. <laughs> Are you going to tell Tucker that then that it's it's you knew it was a news? Yes. Okay. You talk to him. Ah uh, well, uh, you you got to kill that thing for me, eh? Is there extra gold in there? Is there room in the in the crate? In the not the crate, the uh, the grate. To the, how big is the grate? Can we all fit down there? It's, it's probably. <laughs> I, 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 I tell you what, I, I don't have a lot of money. It's all wrapped up in poultry. But I could give you this, and he reaches into his um, uh, um, vest under uh, uh, his chicken and uh, produces a, a small uh, bottle of red liquid, which he gives a shake and it. Uh, sort of radiates uh, uh, when he when he um, disturbs the liquid. Um, make uh, an Arcana check if you are trained in it. Twenty three. Everyone, or did you say if, if you're trained? trained? If you have the Twenty three. Yes. I didn't do better. But. Well, that a twenty three clearly yeah. uh, identifies as a potion of healing. Ooh. Throw in two. Egg laying hens, and I think you've got a deal. Yes, and they're all dead. After, uh, on my next uh, shipment, you yeah. take care of this problem, though, first day. Yeah. I mean, that's really valuable. We could, we could even sell it if we need to. Oh, also the eggs, yes. All right, how big is the grate? Can we fit? The Great, the sewer great. Great. Oh, the sewer. I thought you said crate. I was like, what the fuck? Right. We're all going to do We know Jackie did, so. <laughs> I'm also um, going to talk to this guy a little bit about psittacosis, the parrot fever, just so he knows that the, the shit will cause chlamydia. <laughs> like, <laughs> giving the, him a little help. Yeah, just uh, giving him a little, like, yeah. hey, if you keep that clean. clean your act up. Yeah. Uh, very this good. He's going to think we are from the health department. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the grate uh, is, is, is a closed uh, uh, grate. It, beyond it, there is a, a pipe that is, um, it's wide enough for a, 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 a regular sized person to climb down, but it would be tight. Is Gavin a regular sized person? Uh, Gavin, you could make mm-hmm. it down, but it would be, it, you, it would be very, very tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be squeezed on your way down. Being tidy is looking better? I, I don't see why we would go for it. It's going to come back. Okay. So we need bait. Everybody looks at it. Everybody looks at it. It did just eat 27 chickens, so it might take it might a while be before it, it comes back. I think we have to go in. We just gotta grease them up. Anybody have grease? This is a chicken place. Apparently, it's not a pet we store, so we can use. The stew. No, the spell grease. Oh. <laughs> Gavin, you. No. Pull at the grate, and it is it is not like a an open grate. It is a sealed grate. It would it, it would require quite a bit of strength to uh, to open it. Okay, I, can I make a strength check? Yeah, you could even if you have another strength, uh, another strong uh, uh, ally, you may want to want to have their assistance. Don't think he does have it. another strong ally. Is Sam very strong? I have a ten strength. Okay, well I'll. <laughs> I have a ten strength. Oh, how? Just Tamar- not, not Temerity's not really afraid strong. to help. Let's, if we're going to go all Do you way. want a strength check or do you want an athletics check? Uh, this is going to be a strength check, but let's have Temerity do it first. How'd she do? There you go. So you have advantage on this. Big money. It's an iron grate that you're trying to pull off of a sewer. You're just, you're just pulling behind So I, go, I rolled two 13s, so that gives me a 16. 16. The two of you pull with all of your might, but are unable to get the, the, the great Can I look around this. for another entrance to the sewer? You can, yeah. Um, Maybe one that would fit Gavin without greasing him? Yeah, make a perception check. Uh, can I, I'll give myself guidance. Mm-hmm. Great. 
It's 13. And da, 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 perception. 16. Not in the alleyway there, but on the main street uh, that the alleyway connects to, you do see that there is a larger um, sewer manhole opening. Hey, everyone, there's a manhole over here we could probably go through. I think there's even a dragon hole. Oh, dragonborn hole. We could try that one. Do I need to make a straight check? Yeah, it still, I mean, it still has to be open, but this is intended to be open, so it probably uh, is going to be a little bit easier to do so. Uh, is someone going to help you with this? I'm going to have you. Yeah. By the way, there are all sorts of people walking up and down the street where you're uh, uh, opening this manhole. I don't care. I don't know if anybody else okay. cares, but I don't. Um... I don't know. Do should we form a distraction? Will somebody help you? Should we should at least uh, do a little uh, traffic control, make sure no one walks into the home. Is I'm going to pat it... you on the back and give you guidance. Okay. So you got a D4. Okay. Um, I'll see if I can help. You see if you can. Okay. 16 on the back. So that's advantage with your D4. Okay. You got it. All the money. All right. So that is a 21 plus 3, so that's 24. Yeah, uh, you pop that manhole cover uh, right up, and there is a, a ladder that leads uh, down into the darkness. And as soon as you pop this cover up, uh, uh, who assisted you with the temerity again? Uh, you both are greeted by the most awful foul stench. Now, is this a sewer a sewer, or is this a storm drain? This is a sewer. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, we I call Gibbs in the bathroom to get back. It's, it's both, actually. The city doesn't have it. It all goes into the system and then flushed out to sea. Lady well, Temerity. When, there's no, there's no consideration goes. for the environmental impacts of that. At this Maybe time. you want to put some handkerchiefs around it so people don't fall in. I, if, cool. I don't know if we have any other color guards or cool. anything. No, I think we just need um, the com- comedy to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we could always we could close it behind us. It. The problem is getting back out, but... We get out. It is dark down there, as I mentioned. Um, I think we all have dark vision. Oh, no, you don't. No, I'm very I... human. Oh, it's fine. We can all, yeah. I don't think I, I have dark vision. I, I don't think that... Does Gavin have dark vision? I no. feel like lighting what? a torch in the sewers is a bad. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, I guess. Does anyone have magic pertaining to light? I can make a... Nope. S- I can do a little bit, but nothing like that. Now they're just playing on it. He's a human. Yeah. yeah. Well, um... Well, I'll go and look. And uh, somebody else to take up the rear, make sure we don't get attacked from behind while the. Uh, I thought I'd cross those. Those who can't see. I to take your uh, characters out of the um, uh, thing. And this is actually a really great point for us to take a brief intermission. We hope you enjoyed the first half of Prologue to Journey of the Bronze Wing. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can catch the second half beginning on August 13th ahead of our live performance at All-American Cards of Comics in Warren, Ohio on Saturday, August 20th. As always, you can send us a message, find out more about our cast, and our upcoming performances by going to masterfuls.com. Thanks for watching.